एवरीवन वेलकम मिथिली हु इज अपकमिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट फेसबुक हर जर्नी इज रियली इंस्पायरिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो विद हर इंट्रोडक्शन हाय एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू थैंक उपासना फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी देन माय नेम इज मनाक्षी आई एम अ बीटेक कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम इंदिरा गांधी डेली टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर वुमेन माय जर्नी इन as in the tech industry started when i got an offer like an internship offer from salesforce that was uh, in the year 2023 and after my intern got completed and we were waiting for the ppo results so it turned out to be in my favor and i was offered a pre placement offer at salesforce itself so i'll be joining salesforce in the year of 2024 so that's a bit about me Okay, Dee. So next, coming to uh, what was your DSA journey when you started DSA, and what are the tips from your side for the juniors for DSA and their coding preparation? Okay. So uh, when I joined college, I had literally no coding background. I knew a like bit of HTML, CSS as a part of my uh, curriculars in school. but uh, i was a student, ccm student but i did not take up for computer science so i had no idea of what c++ what c what python is so in my first year i started a bit of c so that i can take my curriculars and get a bit about coding itself so uh, after i thought that you know i have a couple of inform i i i do have some uh knowledge of c some basics when i after i understood i switched to c++ for uh within my first year itself and then uh, from second year onwards i started doing some basic dsa i also bought a a course from geeks for geeks which was live uh, dsa classes so they told a bit on the theoretical aspects and then obviously going through lead code and geeks to geeks for uh, dsa i also did some uh, mock interviews so that i have a bit of information on how what an interview looks like so yeah i think i pretty much covered um, most of the dsa concepts in the second and third year uh, so that that is what it was about so any tips for my juniors it would be that consistency is very important in dsa and uh, making sure that you uh, are revising uh, your older concepts uh, with the new ones so if you're doing for example uh, from strings you're going to queues or stacks so you should also revise the previous uh, dsa concept so that you don't forget them with time yeah and if you are not able to manage with your consistency which may be a very uh, normal thing because of uh, you know college and other things that going on in your life so uh, we turned out to be pretty um you know, i would say lucky because our first year was online so we did get some time on ourselves and you know work on our coding but if you don't find that much of time if you feel, find that you know uh, you lagging consistency i will suggest you make a peer group maybe uh, if that helps you some uh, with other of your friends or some other acquaintances who feel that uh, your goals align with them uh, or uh, you can opt for a course if you are financially uh, you can afford that kind of course. otherwise there are uh, youtube uh, maybe there's a lot of content available so you can go through that but again consistency is important uh, you know being focused that you need to learn dsa that is what is the most important thing i would give okay the next coming to what are the level of projects we should include in our resume and what we all need to like focus while making the resume what are the all the tips you would give to us um, for the resume wala part okay so for projects i will suggest ki uh, ek decent level jo aap hackathon mein i would say uh, hackathon level ka project ho that would be good 
इट वुड बी नाइस अगर आप एक टीम प्रोजेक्ट पे बनाओ मतलब टीम प्रोजेक्ट डालो फॉर टू रीजन वन दैट वेन एन एच आर सीज अ टीम प्रोजेक्ट दे अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव कोलेबोरेटिव स्पिरिट एंड दैट यू कैन वर्क इन अ टीम दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द इंडस्ट्री सोलो प्लेयर्स बहुत कम होते हैं बट वैसे जनरली पीपल वर्क इन टीम वर्क ऑन ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट तो ये चीज होती है और दूसरा एस्पेक्ट ये होता है कि अगर आप टीम वर्क कर रहे होते हो तो लेस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम में आप एक बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे होते हैं क्योंकि एवरी पर्सन हैज देयर ओन वर्किंग आर्स तो वो एड अप करके कुछ बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट बन जाता है सो दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कि एक इट्स ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक अ सोलो प्रोजेक्ट बट आई विल सजेस्ट कि एक टीम प्रोजेक्ट हेल्प करेगा टू बिल्ड गुड अमाउंट गुड लेवल ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट वेरी बेसिक प्रोजेक्ट आई नेवर सजेस्ट किसी को भी अगर बनाने हैं तो लाइक यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेक इंस्टाग्राम क्लोन या ये क्लोन वो क्लोन बट आई फील की थोड़ा यूनिकनेस हो कोई आइडिया में तो दैट वुड बी बेटर बिकॉज क्लोन जनरली यू नो यूट्यूब वीडियो पे भी आपको कहीं ना कहीं मिल जाएगा दैट यू नो मेक व्यू यूट्यूब क्लोन इन टू आर्स और थ्री आर्स तो दैट इज नॉट वेरी I I don't think that it is a very good project. Good for look for new good ideas. Participate in hackathons. If you participate in a hackathon, तो एक project आपका बन ही जाता है, right? So you will be submitting something ना. तो project वो बन गया है. उसी को extend कर लो या तो. या फिर अगर वो एक decent level का बन गया है, तो obviously you can put that on your resume as well. Yeah. Okay, the uh, so as you mentioned that uh, you mentioned in your intro like uh, you interned at Salesforce. Salesforce. So, like uh, during our internships, what are um, the guidelines we need to follow for getting the PPO? And, आपकी वहाँ पे intern journey कैसी थी? All about your that journey. Okay. So, uh, first of all, कोई set guidelines नहीं होती कि ऐसे करोगे तो PPO मिल जाएगा, ऐसे करोगे तो नहीं मिलेगा. ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है. It is everybody lives their own uh, journey. ठीक है? तो सबकी बहुत अलग होती है आई वुड से कि माई जर्नी एट सेल्स फोर्स वॉज प्रिटी अमेजिंग द काइंड ऑफ वेलकम दैट वी रिसीव दैट सेल्स फोर्स द वॉम द अमाउंट ऑफ केयर दैट वी गॉट इट वॉज अमेजिंग एंड बियॉन्ड माई एक्सपेक्टेशन सो इट वॉज प्रिटी गुड फॉर मी माइट नॉट बी गुड फॉर समबडी एल्स सो या बट देर थिंग लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कि डरना नहीं है ठीक है If you have made it to some company, obviously you are worth it. ठीक है तो believe in yourself and secondly मतलब when you are joining as an intern, तो लोगों को लगता है कि मैं कैसे cope करूँगा मैं ये करूँगा मैं वो करूँगा Let me tell you, all of the managers and the team members are mentally prepared that they are have they are going to have a new buddy with them. तो दे बहुत ही वेलकमिंग नेचर मोस्टली मिलता है माय 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 मैनेजर माय मेंटोर यूज टू सिट विद मी लाइक सिंस माइन वाज हाइब्रिड सो वी यूज टू सिट ऑन कॉल ऑन सम मीट एंड दे यूज टू एक्सप्लेन मी ईज एंड एवरी थिंग इन डिटेल सो दे वर लाइक फीडिंग मी लाइक अ बेबी सो वेन एवर यू जॉइनिंग अ न्यू कंपनी डोंट बी एंक्शियस दैट हाउ यू विल मैनेज योर मैनेजर योर मेंटोर everybody is there to support you to help you out making through the journey they do understand that you are totally newbie and it's okay to ask the most stupid question because it might feel stupid to you but it is a very obvious question and since you're a beginner like they do understand that you're a beginner and they treat you like that they are okay with any simple stupid question that you may ask i have asked a lot of stupid questions and i used to get a nice laugh and uh, then they used to explain me everything in very great detail and they used to sometimes they used to say oh yes you do, you might you might not know about it so it's very not very obvious that you might not know about things but it's okay to ask a question so uh, journey to touch wood meri achhi rahi to yahi tha na question kuch miss kiya to bata dena 
Hmm. Okay, Dee. So next coming to like as a fresher, we always feel, uh, do we need to join the college societies or not? Or do the technical events like uh, in the JDG or Gurgaon Noida, like these events or these college societies help us in the future or not? Okay. So uh, it actually depends on obviously personal criteria. Ki what do you want to achieve? But um, I will. I think that um, you know college societies and these kind of events that happen at with GDGs and other communities, uh, technical communities around uh, all over uh, present. Uh, they do help a lot in holistic development. I would say. So you get to meet people, you get to interact, you get to develop connections, you uh, learn how to talk. First of all, like I was, I would say, ki thoda normal. I would, I wasn't very extroverted. So um, this kind of an exposure helped me develop holistically, learn how to speak publicly. Now I'm, you know, having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Which I might, which I know that you know will go live, and I'm touch wood very comfortable right now talking to you. But that was not the case uh, when I was like I think in 11th or 12th standard. So these kind of events give you an exposure. They learn, uh, you know, the technicalities. When you organize an event, you learn about the very basic stuff. You you might not be on the stage itself. But you learn how to talk to people. You know, you learn how to talk formally. That is very important in a professional setting. That how you convey your ideas. You see, a lot of times people think very nicely, but जैसे वो बोलते हैं या तो वो convey नहीं कर पाते या फिर ऐसा हो जाता है कि उनकी बातें offending हो जाती हैं manager को अच्छा नहीं लगा कि तुमने कैसे बोला है ना तो these kind of events this kind of exposure this helps i feel that this helps in uh, you in this kind of development or jo tumhara soft skills or personality wala aspect hai wo thoda improve hota hai baaki obviously so personal criteria ki tumhe join karni hai nahi karni hai tumhe dia se pe focus karna hai ya kya karna hai that is up, up to you okay ji so last my question is like being an introvert um how should we like how should we improve ourselves in making the connections with the people okay so um mai again I, as i mentioned before ki theek hai mai bhi zyada extroverted nahi thi i i think i i am an ambivert yeah i can talk to my close ones a lot but when it comes to um, you know somebody i don't know i cannot so that was my case uh, pehle but again these uh, you know these kind of events when i go to networking events or some technical events i make sure that i talk to people uh, you don't have to do a lot i know it is very difficult for an introvert to go to somebody and say hi but uh, in order to build connections and build a network of people it is important that that hi is very important so i matlab i you should push myself it's okay that's what you are here for so say i would you, you should go to somebody i th i thought ki you know will i will be able to talk a bit so i should uh, tell ki hi i am manasi so and so and i am from this college and i am doing this degree what about you so they will also initiate a bit of conversation and then i'd ask what brought you here or you know what uh what are your expectations from this event are you enjoying this event or uh what are your plans for the next you know a year or two are you are you sitting for placement ask some random basic questions obviously they will indulge in a conversation and you might get something you know some kind of an advice or some thought that might help you a lot so that's how and then uh, during the conversation most of the times it happened that they only you know reached out to me and they, it, maybe we can get connected through twitter or maybe we can get connected through linkedin so yeah i was like yeah that that's how you build a network right 
you connect with them through linkedin through twitter or maybe through your personal mobile i was not very comfortable honestly with my personal mobile so i used to connect through linkedin or twitter obviously when you have had a conversation with somebody and they've connected with linkedin you can reach out to them later on also right so yeah that's how you build a network a lot of times you know when you go out frequently so uh, in a specific community event so it used to happen that you know i used to meet the same people in some other event also because they are living in my region itself and they are also looking out for events they are also looking for out for a network so i used to meet them again and i was like hi we met there right so that that's how you call, call you know indulge in a conversation and that's how you i would say make friends or make acquaintances that might help you in the future or mean even if they do not i think it's a good thing to just network with people and collaborate talk to each other yep